What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and today we're taking a look at this awesome monitor from Auzai. It's a 15.6 inch diagonal. I have it connected to my Tab S6 right now. No power needed, no power necessary. It gets power directly from USB-C, making this the ultimate in a portable monitor, especially these days. A lot of us are working from home. A lot of us are in a household with a lot of people right now, and sometimes it's hard to get monitor time. This is a great way. Just go ahead, plug this in. You can use this for gaming. You can use it for an extra monitor on your laptop. You can use it for your phone. I'm going to show you all of those use cases in just a second. It's 189 bucks. Check my link down below. I'm going to try and score you guys a coupon. And also prices do come down. So definitely check my link down below. But let's go ahead and check out this monitor together. Packaging is very Apple-esque. It's just a very clean packaging and on the back you can see everything that you need to see 15.6 inch diagonal 1080 screen. You also get an aspect ratio of 6 by 9. You get 6500 K for your color temperature There's your viewing angles if you want to know everything about it Go ahead and pause the video and check it out But the really cool thing about this portable monitor is you also get built-in speakers and you also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack So you will be able to get some sound coming from this monitor Let's just go ahead and open this up. Inside the box we get a screen protector, so a huge shout out to them for giving us one of these. It'd be pretty hard to find one otherwise. If you want to read your manuals, they give you a manual so you can go ahead and read all about it. But I'm more excited about checking out this actual screen and actually seeing what the quality is like. So let me put that aside and see if we get anything else in the box. Inside the box you also get all the necessary cables, which is really a huge plus. So here's your HDMI to your mini HDMI right there. You have a little cleaning cloth and then we get some more cables as well. Here's a USB to USB-C and then we also get another USB to USB cable. What I really like about this monitor as well is it comes with its own carry case so it really keeps everything super super protective. Before we go ahead and check out all the settings and whatnot, I just want to show you just how thin and how light this portable monitor is from Azai. You can see here that it's super, super thin, and I can tell you it's super light as well. And that's really important because when you throw this in your bag, you don't want it to weigh you down. And just take a look at it. It's actually a really nicely designed monitor. Just to show you guys a little reference, if we take my Tab S6, you can tell that the Azai monitor is maybe a shy thinner than the Tab S6. Basically, this gives you an idea of just how thin this monitor is. Taking a look at the ports on the left side, you have your 3.5mm headphone jack. Here's your scroll wheel. This will be used to activate settings, adjust the volume, and do a whole bunch more. I'll get into that a bit later. There's your power button. And then on the other side, you have some inputs here. So you have two USB-C. One can be used as a dedicated power if you need it. You also have a dedicated USB-C video input. And the power one can be used as a combination USB-C slash power. So if your device provides power and video out, you'll be able to use just one port, freeing up another port for maybe something else. And then there's your mini HDMI that you'll need to use if you want to connect your laptop, if you want to connect your Nvidia Shield or your PS4. The Azai monitor attaches magnetically to this case cover, just like so, and it is really cool. It just sort of covers itself completely, just like that. And then if you need to, all you have to do is unwrap it and then it can be used just like this. But most of the time you're going to want to use it as a stand. You can adjust the viewing angles however you want to. Being a trifold case, you have some slots here for the most popular viewing angles. Just like that. What I'm happy about is my Tab S6 actually has video output and it provides power to the monitor. So I do not need a power source. Most of the time I do have my laptop and my Tab S6 in my bag. So if I needed the extra real estate of this 15.6 inch monitor, all I have to do is plug in the USB-C cable to my Tab S6, plug the other one in to the power slash USB-C port, which is the bottom one right over here. And then it should just turn on by itself without any external power needed. I just want to show you some of the settings here. I'm at 98% brightness and you can tell that you're able to view the entire screen without any issue at all. This is just a great feature on a portable monitor. If you can't view it in most lighting conditions, what's the point of having it? But this one, you can view it in pretty much any lighting condition, even outside. I had no issues viewing this monitor. And of course at night it can get really dim so you don't bother those people around you and you don't bother your eyes. Now these are the settings. I just want to show you some of the settings here. You have control for pretty much everything. Here's your brightness, your contrast. You also have a, a mode for your screen. So if you want eco, that's just your standard mode. If you're playing a game, it'll adjust it accordingly. Watching a movie or 
photo editing perhaps, you can also adjust the screen. Most times though, I just left it on standard. Here's your DCR, so you can turn that on or off if you need that. You can also adjust the sharpness. And then if we go to color settings, you have a lot more options here. So you can tell this is really intended for video editing, for productivity, maybe photo editing as well. You have a control over your color temperature. You also have control over the hue, the saturation. Here's your six color as well. So if we go into the six color, you can change just about every color that this monitor will produce. So that's something super cool. And then you also have gamut, which I think is actually really awesome as well. Again, for those video editors, photo editors, or maybe you just wanna be able to look at a magazine, how it was intended. You have sRGB mode, Adobe, DCI P3, or native. Go into the audio settings here. You have a couple options, mute or volume. Going into other settings here, you have your aspect ratio from full or 16 by nine. Again, if you're watching a movie, you might wanna switch that around. Free sync, you can choose on or off. I just wanna show you guys the HDR function really quickly. This is when it's off, and then you can sharpen things up and really make it punchy. Show you that again, there's auto, there's off. It kind of changes it a little bit, and then you can just punch it up just like that. I usually leave that to auto. And then of course, here's your input source, USB-C or HDMI. One thing I do have to mention about this monitor is sometimes it just does not store the settings in memory. So for example, when you plug something else in, it's gonna reset everything to back to how it was. So you will have to go back and adjust the brightness level. You will have to go back, adjust the volume. Is that a deal breaker? Not really. It's super simple just to use this wheel on the side and adjust the brightness. But it would have been nice if there was some tiny little battery to keep your user settings. That's just one thing I would like to see in perhaps a future, in a future Azai portable monitor. That's really the only thing I have to complain about this monitor. And really guys, that's not a big deal at all. Just go ahead and adjust the brightness. Now let's just show you some examples. I wanna kinda let you know of what this monitor will look like, what the monitor will sound like. And I'm happy to say that taking this outdoors on this nice picnic table, I had no problems viewing this in direct sunlight. It was really a pleasure just to go outside, especially now that we're all inside. It was really an awesome pleasure to just take this monitor, go outside, watch a movie on my own. I know how silly that sounds, guys, but a lot of times now we're kind of struggling to get that TV time, struggling to use that computer. This is one way around it, and it's also just a nice way to get some fresh air, even if you're not in quarantine. Just take a monitor out, do some work in the outdoors, get some fresh air, etc., etc. So for that, I think this monitor is pretty awesome, and it is really light, no problems with the brightness. The volume from the speakers on the side actually did a great job. Take a listen. Last week, we were introduced to this especially fun and lovable group of singers in the class of 2020. Hey, Saucy Taco. Hey, this watch. This is Sunto. They've been making wearables and fitness watches for quite some time, but now they're entering the Wear OS market to give us a really smart and really functional and capable Wear OS device. Not sorry, Reese's. With so many nourishing shades, a color change is easy. Nutrice has 77. From our darkest blacks to our lightest blondes, it nourishes while it colors, plus avocado, olive, and shade. Change a little or a lot. But you can also just plug in an external speaker via 3.5 millimeter if you want to. And you can also just go ahead and plug in some headphones. So if you need your private time, if you really just want to be in solitary and watch something, you can go ahead and plug in some headphones. But the viewing angles were really nice. So you can have people around you and you can go outdoors. You can watch a movie. You can be productive, look at a spreadsheet, and everyone will be able to see what you need to see. So the viewing angles on this were super, super cool as well. For those road warriors out there, pick up a Buy Easy dock just like this one, because then once you connect this to your tablet, you can still HDMI out right to the portable monitor. You can also have support for USB drives, for mice, for keyboards, whatever you need. And then you also have SD card support as well. So keep this in your bag and whenever you're outdoors, whenever you're at the library studying, wherever you are, you can just connect a bunch of devices to your tablet, to your phone, whatever it is, and then still use this portable monitor on the go. Definitely a great addition for those road warriors. Of course, productivity is not the only reason why you would want to pick up a portable monitor like this is I monitor. Hook up your Nvidia Shield, play those GeForce Now games, play your Android games, play your PS4 games. Because of the HDMI input, any device that you would connect to your TV, you can connect to this and just have a personal viewing experience. I really enjoyed playing games on the Azai monitor. They were super crisp, super bright. No issues with gameplay on this monitor, but you do have to be productive from time to time. And that's where plugging in your laptop to the monitor came into play. I just hooked up the HDMI monitor again, right from my laptop. I was able to watch videos on one screen, 
And then I was able to be productive on the other screen. Again, this is a win-win device for just about every scenario. But let me know what you guys think about the Isaiah monitor down in the comments below. For me, this is a win. I think it's a great way to keep this in your bag, have an extra screen when you need it, have that personal time when you need it. But let me know what you guys think. I always appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.